Hello and welcome to a brand new preview episode for Black and Black Cinema. I'm your host, Jay. I'm here with my co-host, Terrence. What's up? All right, guys, just the two of us this week. Uh, this is a preview episode for episode 271, Sing Sing. That is the 2023 film uh, starring Coleman Domingo, Clarence Macklin, and Sean San Jose. Um, I'll give you the log line here. Divine G imprisoned at Sing Sing for a crime he did not commit. Um, finds purpose by acting in a theater group alongside other incarcerated men in the story of resilience, humanity, and the transformative power of art. Um, look, it's Coleman Domingo. Just knock it off. It's going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> look, I haven't seen anything bad that he's been in. No. And Everything he, he's been in. He does he not. Uh, it, if it, even if it's not that great. Yeah. <laughs> Like that's quite literally true in everything he does. Uh, he was in the Zola movie for God's sake, and he fucking crushed that shit. Uh, it's just what he does. That movie was not bad. Yeah, I look. I like <laughs> that movie. Pretty goddamn good. Yeah, it's another A twenty four movie. Considering from a fucking it was a Twitter thread. Yeah, <laughs> is that what it was? That's what it was. Yeah. That was a wild movie. Um, so that is the deal with that. We will be, uh, back. Hopefully the whole, uh, whole group will be back for Sing Sing again, episode 271 next week. Uh, random topic. Look, it's going to be a short one. <laughs> Get your plan to vote. Get your plans. to vote. If you haven't already done so, you haven't already. I early voted vote. last week. Um, oh, good. Good for you. Uh, early voting has already started in many States. Um, and I think pretty much most States are going to be in full swing by next week. Uh, for early voting, look, just make a plan. Um, I would love to come on here and tell you. I'm not telling you who to vote for. I'm just telling you to go out there and vote. But this is this is our show. Don't be a fucking idiot, okay? Don't be an idiot. We're not here. We're not here to. We're not here to play nice. We're here to, like, like I'm not a. I, I like I don't. I'm not a journalist. I don't have to fucking follow journalistic in- integrity and none of that bullshit. But I do like facts. Like if you vote for Donald Trump, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> the end. Again, you already you already know my stance. If you black, you a coon. Sorry. Like yeah, if you're that's if a, you're voting for a, Donald Trump at this point, yeah, I, I agree. Um, so, so yeah, look, we're not in the business of uh, coddling nonsense, but make sure you have a plan to vote. Uh, I know people will say this all the time. Democracy is literally on the ballot. Um, and if you don't believe me, you could just go, I don't know, read Project 2025. It's not that hard. Um, it, this is serious. It's really super serious. We also, I was talking to my wife about this today. I think even people who are in support of Kamala Harris do not realize how close you are to setting an unbelievable moment in human history or American history, to be very specific. Don't. Don't forget that. And that's not the reason to vote for somebody necessarily. But in this case, it's also a reason to vote for somebody. It kind of um, is a reason. Like you want to be on the right side of history. Much well, like yes, Obama. you do want to be on the but right side of history. This one's a little I, bit different. Right. Um, but like if it was Ivanka Trump, I would be like, well, that would be the quote unquote right side of history with the wrong <laughs> fucking person. Right. Um, so I, I do think it's important. Obviously, voting is extremely important. Um, just pay attention. Stop believing a bunch of bullshit that you that you hear at the barbershop or from uh, folks on the stoop. Google shit. Read it. Read it from a real yeah. news source. Understand who was telling you this. What agendas they may have. Read. Like, look, don't believe anybody. Go read bills, right? Go to govtrax. You know, uh, <laughs> dot org. <laughs> Like, go read those things. And you can just read the hardcore bills. And you don't have to have anybody interpret it for you incorrectly. You don't have to listen to us. You can learn these things. They're, these are these are knowable facts. Um, and just, in all honesty, just take the shit seriously. Because if you fuck this up, you're going to pay for it in ways that you cannot imagine. Right. I'm just serious. Like, like, like Jay said, I, I was, I had, I've had a bunch of conversations with a bunch of people over the last week and a half. Um, and a lot of people have just inc- I like we we have a very smart audience. A lot of people just have a lot of incorrect information, right? Yeah. And when you hear someone say something, like you said, look, you have the phone in your hand, like you literally have a smartphone. It's called a smartphone for a reason. <laughs> you can Google anything. If you hear someone say something, like, like I heard something today, someone said that Kamala Harris put people in prison 
because of truancy issues with their children. And I, this is the first time I ever heard something like that. And I Googled it. And of course it wasn't true. And I went to several different articles to make sure that I like, don't just look at one article. They're all over the place. Like Google has just a lot, like a, a row of articles about it. And turns out that's not the case. She put something in place to like, hey, why is your child not going to school? And unfortunately, like when the, when the law is involved, it does hurt black and brown people a little bit more. But she's like, yo, I want your kids. To, I want your kids to go to school so they can stay out of trouble. And because what she found in the data is kids that drop out of high school are more susceptible to crime. Of course. So she created this thing that was in 2011. She, she was like, hey, like, I want to put this in place. So if you miss 10 percent of school with no no reason, you don't have like a doctor's note of for whatever reason. They're going to look at they're going to look into it, kind of like truancy officers back in the day. I was I was I'm too young to have had those. My parents had truancy officers. They would go around town like if you miss school, if you missed a day of school, they would put up. Yeah, it be like, yo, Mrs. Mrs. Majors, your, your, your daughter didn't show up at school. What's, what's going on? She got in trouble. <laughs> All right. So school the next day. So shit, shit like that. But like when you get the law involved, it makes it a little bit, you know, like yeah, the real law involved, not a truancy officer. It makes it a little bit difficult. Um, but yeah, some someone said that, this was, and it wasn't true. Um, a lot of the shit, people that a lot of things that you hear, and like like he said in barbershops and shit like that, double check. Don't just believe what people say, just because it's probably not true. <laughs> it's just, especially about Kamala, because like people say, oh, I don't know who she is, and then you hear th- people say things about her simply because like she used to be a prosecutor and like. I don't like cops as much as the next nigga. I hate cops, but like, just look it up. Just look it up. Just look up the facts. Look up bills. Look up the facts. Look at you can you can easily download the PDF files from both the the, the Trump administration and um, Kamala's ca- um, campaign to see what their actual bills are all about. And if you like it, and if you like what you see for right. for Trump, okay. I mean. It's written in flowery language, <laughs> so it makes it seem really cool. A, a bunch of but stuff. like, right. realize who the person is. Right. We've we've seen this guy for nine years. We know who he is. Yeah, you don't have to guess. And we know what he's about. Yeah, we don't have to guess anymore. Like, we know who the fuck he's about. So, yeah, I don't I, know. I mean, t- to me, in all honesty, what I what I'm the most concerned about. I'm I'm actually very bullish on this. Uh, Campaign. I, I think Harris is going to walk away with this, and and that's not based on just my feelings. It's based on actual early voting numbers and shit like that, right? Because I pay attention to that, not just polling, but actual real statistics, not what some fucking jackass at five thirty eight says. Um, fuck that. Um, but what concerns me is that there is a level of weaponized ignorance, and I don't just mean in like I'm not saying in the black community only. I'm saying there is a level of weaponized ignorance across the country. And there's a, there's so many people who think like Terrence is saying, like they, they're so sure about certain things. And then when you look it up, you're like, you're not even close to being right. Or, or you're 50% there, but you're missing the whole half of the story. Like I, I just had a conversation with somebody that is, I guess, technically ongoing. I think they're screaming into the ether in my uh, DM (laughs) on, um, but, you know, they're they're so sure about this story uh, that is a lie that Trump said it costs it doesn't cost sixty thousand dollars to bury a fucking Mexican. Those are his words, not mine. And it come, you know, they're like, well, look at all this information. I'm like, that doesn't prove anything. That doesn't prove anything. That doesn't prove anything. You want to believe that this guy is a good guy. But the evidence is not there. Right. Um, and in the face of like actual hard evidence like that he didn't pay for this funeral that he said he was going to the person was like i believe him and i'm like all right well what the fuck can i do i can't i can't help you like you just in the face of direct evidence you don't believe it and so don't be like that is is my point research things challenge your own thought processes like there's times where i believe something i'm like oh shit that's not true i didn't know that yeah like that's okay um it's okay to be wrong el hewley did that yeah, he was like, he was like, yo, example. I apologize. Yeah. Like he, because he thought the whole she locked niggas up for marijuana, and he looked it up, 
she invited him to like a meeting or something. She's like, and then she like, she's like, look it up, look at all my stats. And he was like, oh shit, that was wrong. My bad. And he went to the DNC and apologized on camera in front of the fucking country. It was like, yo, my fault. That's do an your adult. own research. That's, a, that's not do your own research and it's in like stupid shit, but like actually he <laughs> just like, for real, yo, look things up. That's it. Just look things up. Right. And, and, and look, it's not trying to trick you. <laughs> Don't don't fucking pay attention to people on TikTok saying crazy shit. I know we have a TikTok, <laughs> uh, the the you know, Ignore. but like even like even if like even don't listen to me. If you don't believe what even if you don't believe what Jay is saying, just 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 Google the shit. Just look it up. Pretty learn. He's a pretty learned individual. I'll give him credit for that at the very least. Listen, at least he researches shit before he gets on there and start talking crazy about people. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's all you got to do, man. That's all you got to do. Like, just, I mean, look, man. here's the thing. You don't always get things right. You don't always know everything. Yeah. But it, to me, taking a concerted effort to try to understand something. And I mean, look, I will, I will happily admit when, like I talk about politics every week for like, most times two plus hours, right? There is a lot of sort of financial shit I don't fucking understand. And I'm pretty goddamn good at math. But like when it comes to like <laughs> deeper shit in the economy, I'm like, huh? What? Nope. No, I, I don't understand <laughs> it. Which is why that's not my wheelhouse, right? So I leave that to people that I trust who I think know more. And then I listen to them explain it to me like I am a fucking five-year-old, right? Which is what I need. All right. But what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to get out there and just be like, this is fucking, this makes sense. Like, I don't believe tariffs are the thing that's going to work economically because literally every economist is like, this is a terrible fucking idea. <laughs> I don't know, man. Are they all lying? I feel like yeah, they probably have a vested interest. Yeah, I, have, I feel like they have a vested interest in the economy working. What a, what a strange idea. Yeah. So conservative or liberal economists, right? They're just like, nah, this is, this is a terrible idea. Um, so I pay attention to those things. And I think it it can be a lot to juggle like living your life and surviving and doing all that other shit and then taking the time to read all that. I recognize that hundred percent. Just like people yeah. would like to sit down and watch sports. My thing, because I'm a giant dork is I love reading about <laughs> politics. Right. So that's, that's my sport. So that's why I'm more, you know, I have a, like a heavy vested interest in it, but I do think when it comes to figuring out what, these politicians are going to do for you or do to the country in which you live in or the municipalities in which your family lives in, in my case, right? Um, I think it is important to know what they want, right? I know, I'm sure there are people like, well, you don't live in the United States anymore. Yeah, you're right. It's great here. Um, but, the, <laughs> <laughs> but the other side of that is I have- A of eggs for $3. Yeah. A 30 pack of eggs for $3 or whatever the fuck nonsense this nigga told me earlier. Yeah. That made me so goddamn mad. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is. Anyway, uh, sorry. Um, if it makes you feel any, if it makes you feel any better, maple syrup is extremely expensive here. Um, <laughs> that's that's all I got for you. Not um, really. Look, that's it. That's it. Um, but my my biggest thing is, yeah, I don't I don't live in the United States, but I have such a vested interest in it. Not just from a like gamesmanship thing, but my parents still live in the U.S. My cousins, my my like they my have best friends that live here. Lives. Right, but right. my best friends. Live. So I can't just be like, "Best of luck, nigga." I'm out. Like that. That <laughs> that's fucked up. That's why I still vote. Right, uh, I vote in you know in uh, federal, state, and local elections. I do. I, I still can. So, um, give a shit. If I can give a shit these many miles away, you can give a shit while being there. Like so, because it directly affects you. For me, it is it is about what affects people that I care about. And uh, how it affects the country, because if America goes to dog shit, guess what happens to the rest of the fucking world? You think it's going to be fine? Right. No, like get the fuck out of here. So um, <laughs> it does matter. It matters a lot. Um, and I really want to see people make good choices. I would love on election night, if it gets called um, that night, which I think it might. I want I want to see that moment again, like. I still remember in I, – I can see it as clear as anything sitting next to my grandmother watching the TV and it fucking flash up 
that they called Obama and it like went to commercial for a second and came back because they like they fucked the thing up on MSNBC or whatever and they came back and they're like we have official call and my entire family fucking losing their minds over it. It's one of the most powerful <laughs> things I can I I will never forget it. I will never forget it. And I'm sad that my grandmother is not alive to see this moment. I think it's dope. My wife is Indian. I'm black. We have a daughter. Right. <laughs> right. Like I've got a vested man. interest in all sides here. Like I just do. That, you know, to watch my daughter see this happen as a kid. This is the president she's going to know. Right? Like this is this is the president. She's five. Like Kids don't know who the fuck the president is. She doesn't know who the fuck Joe Biden is, but she will know who Kamala Harris is. And that is important, right? I know some people, well, she's not really black. You're really dumb, but she is a black woman. And it's incredibly important. It's an incredibly important time. Please don't be one of these people that sees a moment that is important and just decides, ah, I don't really give a shit because everyone does give a shit. Don't be like that. Don't be a contrarian, please. It's really silly. Yeah. The people that you don't want to give a shit do. And they want to fucking ruin 100%. it. Hundred <laughs> percent. Those motherfuckers are voting. You have to realize that the people that, that don't really care about you, that kind of hate your guts, vote. Like the 60 plus old and older, the 60 and over white crowd, they vote. Every time. Reliably. They always vote. They never not vote. That's why it's always close. Because they're, you know, there, there are certain, there are certain fucking demographic of people that feel like just because things are different, they're losing the country. And again, uh, I've been saying this for ten years. Like he's an overcorrection. Yes. The the realest thing that what's his name ever said was uh, it was white lash, right? What was his name? Van Jones. Um, Van Jones. It's a backlash because we had a, we had eight years of a black president, so they went to the complete opposite direction. And got Donald Trump. This news is a scumbag. <laughs> we know who he is. We know he is a wild scumbag. But people are still like, hey, man, he's funny. Yeah. The, con- the economy was doing better when he was in office. You know, yeah. and after Barack Obama fixed it after. Yeah. And then like when he left again, if you this, these are things you can look up, he he put he he left with an $8 trillion deficit. He added $8 trillion to the deficit in four years. Obama added $10 trillion to the deficit. In eight. That was eight years. Right. That was eight years. Trump added eight in four years. So, you know, and, he wasn't and, really that great for the economy. Right. <laughs> you know? and, and here's an important fact of, of Obama's $10 trillion. Republicans love to go, oh, look how much he added to the deficit. Hey, uh, you know what he did that George W. Bush didn't do? He put the wars on the deficit. He stopped, he stopped separating it out so that it seemed like he had less of a deficit. He took that and was like, you have to add this on a deficit so we can try to knock it down. Yeah, that's why it went there. By the way, also, he was coming out of an economic collapse. Democrats, yeah. always the adults in the room, having to clean up the rooms of the fucking Republicans every single time. Oh, why is Obama doing all this deficit spending? I'm sorry, what was happening when he came in? How many yeah. tens of thousands of jobs were we losing a month? We just did a movie last week about a dude that got himself killed. He, I mean, he he got fucked up <laughs> because it's fucking like the housing market blew up in his face. Yep, and he was on and, his way to doing great things. Yeah, trying to save his neighborhood. Yeah, look, politics matters, man. They matter, like regardless of whether you believe it or not. Like I know, I understand, like. If Trump were to win, I don't think he was going to affect my life personally that much. Honestly, I don't believe he will. But he will affect people that I know's life by putting the shit that he puts into place. Like, I'm not a woman. I'm not having, I don't have any kids. So, like, the whole reproductive rights shit don't really, like, it doesn't affect me personally. But I have a sister. You know, just in case she might want to have a child. I don't think she does, but but she might want to have a child. And she lives in fucking Arizona right now. I don't know what the fuck that state's going to do. You know? Right. They tried so, to pass like, a it, law from like the 1800s matter. or some shit on abortion. Right. So you can get like, yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> or bring it back, rather. Yeah. Yeah. So like the Comstock law or some shit like that, right? Uh, um, yeah, something like that. Was it? 
Yeah. And so again, stop thinking about just yourself. I mean, like, I'm not so like, again, our audience is pretty smart. Um, and I'm not blaming black people. Like if, if Kamala loses, it's not black folks fault. We're going to, we're like, no, it would 100% be like black men. Men. Yeah. 100% white folks. Like even, even they keep saying, Oh, black men are starting to vote for Trump. Nigga, we're still 87% are going to be voting for fucking Kamala Harris. If, if not more. So like, and again, we're only 12%. So it's not going to be our fault. It's just not. Um, so that whole narrative is just a bunch of bullshit. They do, they do that just to fucking just to stir chaos. Yeah. Um, so yeah, just, just do your research, man. That's it. Just yeah, for real. Stop believing what everybody says and just actually do your research. Again, I told Jay that I downloaded both PDFs for their, for the, for both fucking, um, their policies for Kamala's and I already know what Trump's policies are. He doesn't have it's a bunch of nonsense. Drill, baby, drill. It's not a policy. Like that's it's not, not a policy. That's a slogan. You gotta have double the energy. <laughs> we you need know, crypto costs more energy. You need double the energy to make crypto work. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah. You moron. Yeah, that's it. Like, Arnold Palmer had a giant penis. <laughs> he said that. It's a giant. It's really big. It's not as big as mine, but it's a big penis. <laughs> I hate like, that nigga, man. <laughs> I really can't stand this. Nigga. He is an insane, I really hate him, man. He's an insane person. Like, yo, if Joe Biden went out on TV and was like, Arnold Palmer has a huge dick, they'd be like, yo, go to the home, right? They would walk him off stage right now. They walk him off stage. Like, you have to go. Right now. Like, the like, nurses are here. He had a big penis. Like, what? Like, okay. bro, like, it's time. Joe, Joe, come with us. We have something to tell you. Come, come on, pop out. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you need a nap. Yeah, but you, people you give up. fucking people popsicle. Give, yeah. <laughs> Like people make a lot of excuses for him, and I, again, it's I think weird, man. I think people want to believe that he's a nice person, and they want to believe that their choices uh, surrounding him make sense. It's a sunken cost fallacy, right? Well, I've invested so much into the idea of this guy being so great, I can't yeah, turn I, back. I gotta me. see it through. Yeah, yeah. Like, all right, I <laughs> you bro, can yes. Nah, look. it's like you can you 100% be like yo I'm wild what am I doing yeah <laughs> and just knock it off and do the right thing but you know that, look that's my that is my that is my attitude right like I don't have the sunken cost fallacy at all I just don't oh shit I'm I'm more of a cut and cut and run type of guy like, like <laughs> oh shit is this guy terrible someone that I, yeah my nigga, oh, what the fuck? Well, end of that like again, don't fucking don't idolize anybody. I don't understand what it is about him. I just don't get it. Just because he's a cool dude, like just because he talks tough. Yo, my nigga went to a fucking McDonald's because Kamala Harris said that she worked at a McDonald's as a kid. Yeah. You know? He's like, no, she didn't. I'm gonna go. We went to headquarters. They, they didn't. No, there's there's no fucking there's no proof. Yo, no again, proof. Yo, that story makes me so, so mad. I'm yo, gonna like, go. So I'm gonna go. <laughs> So I'm just going to fucking front like I'm working the fryer later at fucking McDonald's for fucking 15 minutes and leave. Yeah. A one one He's that like, they I'm closed. I'm paying for all of it. Yeah. Yeah. One that they closed so he could do a fake photo op. All right. Well, that makes it like, again, like you said, like people try to shoot this nigga. So it would, yeah, I'm not mad at them closing. Like, I just <laughs> think it's hilarious that they did like, hey, I'm, I'm at the drive through. Like, yeah, what? like they pretended like it was open. There's yeah, a whole weird. bunch of people. But like, no. And even those motherfuckers was like, yo, what you going to do about the minimum wage? Uh, these are great jobs. McDonald's is a great job. You know, I could do this all day. Could oh, what you? about that minimum wage, nigga? Yeah. <laughs> but are you like, are you going to raise it or not? No money. <laughs> like, nah, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, nah. Harris came out. She was like, I want to put, she was like, I'm going to raise it to $15 straight up. No him in, no high. 15 bucks here. It's 15 bucks in Maryland. Yeah. Oh, is Maryland a health bucks in Maryland and 15 bucks in Canada. I mean, depending on what block you go to. <laughs> okay, yeah, right, fair enough. But that has nothing to do with minimum wage. It didn't see it didn't make it worse. Minimum wage, right. it, it didn't make no, it, it didn't make it worse at all. Like now, Baltimore is such a wild fucking city, man. I swear. There's nothing. They're there. starting to clean it up though. They're starting to clean it up. Like I'm seeing like blocks that can, can clean up a little bit. They're trying to like take some of these row houses that, uh, to fix them up. Good. But like um, sure. low income housing and shit like that. I know there's a section in Baltimore that they um, fixed up for teachers. Hmm, nice. Um, right down the street from um, 
the uh, one of the one of the train stations. Um, it's subsidized housing. Really nice. Uh, they're row houses in the yeah. subsidized housing for for teachers. It's pretty cool. I can't remember what neighborhood it is. Baltimore used to have Baltimore used to have back in the day. Uh, they would sell houses for a dollar. Like they, so that you can fix it, up, yeah, yeah, for a buck. It's like, all right, that's cool. Bring that back. Um, yeah, yeah. Look, so that's the type of shit be, that you can get done in your city when you vote for the right people. I look. I, I said. <laughs> you know I, I said on our political show. Look forward. If we had. 12 or 18 years of Democrats in office at the top of the, at the top of the thing, right? Like as president, you wouldn't be suffering massive economic collapses every time you switch to Republicans. You could do shit in this country. Like that's, that is the thing that people often don't talk about is that every one of these boom and bust sort of situations financially for the United States have happened every time you give the reins to Republicans. Every single time without fail. Maybe it definitely would last 20 years. Yeah. In our life in our lifetime. Yeah. In our lifetime. Every single one. So if you're if you're talking about you want to see the economic, you know, trajectory of the United States be steady and or steady upward for a while and stuff like that and be really consistent, keep Democrats in power, dude. They have created more jobs over the last, what was it, Bill Clinton's line, since the end of the Cold yeah, War? Yeah, 89. <laughs> yeah. Since 89, Democrats have created 50 million jobs. Like when you do like people have lost jobs, you know, created and everything else. Democratic presidents have created 50 million jobs. Republicans have created 1 million. That's the, to me, that's a statistic that you don't need anything else. Because that just goes to show you that that, these people are in the business of making things better. Is it perfect? No. But if you are, if you're looking for perfect, I'm going to need you to go to a fucking fairy fairyland because they don't. <laughs> exist. It doesn't exist. Motherfuckers. Oh, the '90s was great. Yeah. Who the fuck was in charge in the '90s? Yeah, Bill Clinton. We, yeah. we had a what, what was it? Had a surplus when he left out. I yes. looked it up the other day. It was like 252 billion dollar surplus. Yeah. And then nine eleven happened, and they just <laughs> and then they just threw that shit right down the fucking toilet. Yep. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Good job. It, yeah. From a from a from a uh, deficit or from a uh, financial surplus to giving it to George W. Bush and him fucking destroying it. And then after eight years of that, and the country was in dog shit. Hey, let's give it to the nigger. Let's see what he can do. Oh shit, he fixed it. Hey, why don't we give it back to white people? Fuck, they fucked it up again. <laughs> Every time, that's what, that's what happened. Like this, these are facts. Again, you can Google all this stuff. Yeah, we're, th- we're preaching to the cry, but like you can Google all this. Like Google forward is your to your, to Bing, your, like, Google your Alta Vista cousin who doesn't fucking believe in voting, right? Like Duck Duck Go. What are all of the fucking? What are, what are yeah. the? What are the? <laughs> what are, Ico still around? What are the search engines? Is Ask, Ico? Is Ask Jeeves? Ask around? Jeeves. <laughs> the internet's world. Um, oh man, but. You can use perplexity if you're uh, you're out there in the fucking AI space, right? So the the larger point here is like here's an idea: use AI. This is that's my favorite thing to do, by the way. <laughs> Just ask AI to give you all of the uh, sources that it reads from, and just ask it questions. Yeah, you know, how many jobs were created by Democrats between this year and this year? You know, how many were created by Republicans over the last forty years? What is the totals, right? And just ask it for the sources yeah. so you can look it up and have the links and go to it and make sure it's telling you the right thing. Yeah, you can. That's the dope shit, right? If you're, oh, AI is the worst and it's going to steal art. Yeah, it will. That's true. But <laughs> that's awesome, right? That's all very true. But it's also it also has an ability to give you access to certain things that most people go, I don't know where to look and I don't know what the labor statistics are and all you could just fucking you could just search and just tell it, hey, I'm not looking for opinion articles. I'm looking for statistics on these things. Find me governmental statistics on this. And it will tell <laughs> you. If that shit is available to you online, it is available that it can get to. Or it'll tell you, go to this page and like because I can't access it, go here to read it. Yeah, you can. It's not difficult. You can find information relatively fast if you want to. Like you can. It's kind of a powerful tool. Um, 
gov tracks like you can read bills you can read all about who sponsors bills who votes against it who votes for it you don't have to guess you just don't have to i use gov tracks while i was talking to terrence to prove some dumb idiot on tiktok wrong <laughs> not hard i did it in my spare time come on you can too i love information it's awesome you know how much i enjoy being right oh my god <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't get into a lot of arguments unless I know I'm going to win. Trust me. I, I don't think I've lost a fucking internet argument in 10 years. <laughs> it's been a very long time. Go undefeated. Because I only argue with people. I only argue with people that I know say some real dumb shit. I'm like, oh, I'm about to eat your ass alive, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I'm about to just tear you up. Because I'm like, as soon as this. As soon as I see some dumb shit, I'm like, oh, all right, you're an idiot. All right, cool. Let's, let's dance. And then just, I just don't get a response. And then I get no response after I like, yeah. right? They were like two or three paragraphs. They were like, eh. yeah, I ain't read that. I'm like, you can look this up. You can just look it up. Sometimes I will give them the fucking links. Here they are. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. go right to them. That's uh, no, that's no. that's why that's why I prefer TikTok over the other social media uh, platforms because I generally hate all of them because I can do video replies. That's my favorite. That's my favorite part of it. Oh, really? That's not true? Here's an image, you asshole. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. That's my favorite thing. So I say all that to say, if nothing else, get this information, understand it, be well-versed in it, get out and vote, get, you know, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend type of shit, right? Take your grandmother to vote, whatever. Get a plan. Make sure you got your shit together. This is a big election, man. It is. It's a big election because... It is a chance to knock this old man off his fucking tower and be done with him for good, most likely. Um, though, yeah. if he's still alive in four years, they're going <clears> to <throat> drag his ass out in like Hannibal Lecter style um, in that fucking, uh, like on a cart. <laughs> it's like, you're running again, <laughs> old man. But he'll be even crazier in four years, so that's good. Um, it's a chance to embarrass his ass again. We did it once. We can do it again. He's not unbeatable. Um, and it's a chance to put the first black woman, black biracial South Asian woman in the presidency. And that's pretty fucking dope. Do it for my daughter. She wants to see it happen. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. I think it's several of the countries already had fucking female presidents. Mexico had one before y'all. What the fuck, man? It just happened. It y'all, just and, happened. And y'all hate Mexicans. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what the fuck. Yeah. No, exactly. The issues y'all got with Mexicans, they take all the jobs y'all don't want to do so y'all can well, just they're, they're taking dick all around the black- all day. They're, 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 they're they took all the black, black jobs, right? <laughs> What's the, the fucking Shane Gillis joke? He was like, he was doing a Trump impression. Someone's like, what are black jobs? He was like, Mexicans are talking loud on buses in theaters. Those used to be black jobs. <laughs> <laughs> His Trump is too fucking good. That's excellent. Uh, we liked it. They could dance. We liked it when they were black jobs. <laughs> so, yeah. Look, man, vote. And... Make the right choice, man. Just make right, just make correct choices for real. Because, in all honesty, if you don't, the country is not going to look like you like it is now. It just simply won't. It won't. Like one thing, I will push back on. You said that you don't think it's going to affect you directly. I I disagree. I disagree. I I, I think I I think things like collapsing the entire economy by firing every federal worker is going to crater oh that's the probably 2025 shit yeah i think it's going to affect everybody if they get that shit done he tried to do it in his first i think it's 900 pages yeah no but the firing of federal employees he tried to get it done they luckily stopped him at the last minute right not too long before he left office he tried to do it like who stopped him let me see if see again because googling right like is my thing is like who stopped him that time because if it's somebody that's no longer in his cabinet or whoever, like a judge or whatever that happened, who's like, because yeah. he's going to have like the absolute crazies in his cabinet this time. No guardrails. Yeah. If he wins. So that's the other issue that we have. Like the people that are not voting for him, like the majority of the cabinet of <laughs> that he had, they're not voting for him this time. They're not there to be like, nah, you can't do that crazy shit. He's going to have fucking Nosferatu and fucking the penguin next to him <laughs> um, yeah. in his cabinet. Roger Stone and uh, Tim Miller. Is that his name? <laughs> Nosferatu. Stephen Miller. Stephen Miller. Yeah, Tim Miller. Yeah. Different bulwark. 
Yeah, yeah, the schedule left thing. Yeah, he tried before. Um, uh, I'm trying to find the exact um, how they knocked it down, but it, it was basically yeah, it was an internal thing where people were just like, um, yeah. Uh, here you go, 2020, uh, huge attack. Critics decried Trump order to make uh, firing federal workers easier. Um, it was it was he tried to yeah it was an executive order. Um, and basically they knocked it down and was like, no, this has to be like, it can't just be an executive order. That, that was basically the reason. So yeah, he don't have those people in it no more. Yeah. Those people are not going to be able to stop him because they no longer like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> just understand. I don't think y'all realize some people don't realize how fucking dangerous it would be <clears throat> if he gets back in office because he's literally not going to have sane people around him did he ever comp- did he ever fill his entire cabinet the first go around I, <laughs> I, I don't know i don't know i don't think he did yeah so yeah i mean who who is he gonna pick <clears throat> the the judge who the the judge who uh killed the case for his uh the documents case they're floating her as the potential ag the attorney general why just because she's just because she was eating Trump's dick, like that's it, that's it. She was eating dick for Trump, and so they're like, "All right, cool. You can just be the Attorney General." What does it matter? He's not a serious person. She wasn't qualified to be a federal judge, but now she's qualified to be the Attorney General, the top cop in the fucking entire country. All right, man. I don't know. Be like, yo, you cool, man. Again, I have to ask Republicans. Why do you not take the job seriously? Like you should think that the job of president is a serious enough job that you would want to float people who are worthy of the position. He's like, I don't know, guys. Why don't we just pick the toady who helped me 10 minutes ago? It's enough. <laughs> Cause he's a, because he's a malignant narcissist, right? He is. Oh, it helped me? Great. Uh, she's really not qualified for that job. Uh, who gives a shit? You think she's not going to weaponize the fucking DOJ, right? I know Republicans think that's happening now. It isn't. But um, you think she she's not going to be like, oh, yeah, whatever Trump wants to do. Yeah, that's fine. Who cares? Yeah, she didn't give a shit. So you got to pay attention. You have to pay attention. And look, when this is all over in two weeks, don't get apathetic. Don't like, hey, I voted. Cool. You got it, Kamala. Like, and just turn the fuck off for two years. Don't do that. You don't have to be as hyper engaged as like some people like me who don't have lives. But <laughs> you 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 got to pay attention because your job is also to hold her accountable. Right? Never forget that. Yeah. Like your job is not to just vote and turn the fuck off. Look, I want the shit in Gaza to stop. I'm not going to vote for Jill Stein's clown ass. Right? By the way, David Duke endorsed her. All right. Best of luck um, <laughs> with all with all that. Um, Jesus Christ. Yeah, he was like, "Oh, why? some people, some people," because he wants Trump to win. That's why he was like, "This will help oh, the, okay. the white race." And I was like, well, "Is David Duke for it?" Well, I'm against it. I have this weird personal take, right? Um, but I want the shit and gossip to stop. I think the vast majority of people want it to stop. Your job is to hold yeah. her accountable when she when she wins. You know, if and when she wins. You know who's not going to stop it? Trump. Right. He's going to be like, you just go ahead and do, just do what you got to do. Finish the job. Netanyahu wants Trump to win so he can do what he he wants to do. Right. That's that should tell you like, everything. Like, I didn't. Yeah. He hasn't said that, but like. Yeah, that's, that's what he wants. He, he definitely doesn't want Kamala Harris there. Hell no. You Putin me. wants Trump to win. Well, they love Putin. They all want Trump to win. No. All, all of those crazy people, they all want him to win. Because all the they know, like, all you have to do is curry favor with him and he'll do whatever the fuck you want him to do. Yep, exactly. That's not strength. That's the sign of a bitch made nigga. <laughs> like, that's, I the mean, sign, that's the sign of a child. It is. No, I mean, look. But I mean, don't soft He's through strength. Okay. No, I look. like a bitch to me. But. Yeah, don't soft battle. You're 100% right. This is a bitch ass move. Like, yeah. Oh, Putin wants me to be. Putin likes me. I'm sorry. Is he your girlfriend? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> fuck cares. Who the fuck cares? It's fucking weird, man. Well, okay. You had good relationships with fucking foreign leaders. 
They were laughing. They were literally laughing at that nigga. Yeah. <laughs> like literally they laughed at him. But yeah. He, they, he, they were his friends. Sure. Yeah, they, they're your buddies. What right, the fuck are you we won't doing? believe that. Every time I think about this shit, like, what are we doing? What are we doing? Why are we here? Why are we here? Why are we at this moment in time in this country? <laughs> what the fuck? What is going on in these white people's heads? <laughs> like, I can't. I, I, it's, you know what? In all honesty, I I think there is a there is an interesting sort of I don't want to say a psychological aspect to it, but I, I think it is a little bit right. Like I think about sort of the body politic, you know, and I think that Obama Obama came along and people were like, oh shit, this is what the future of the country can look like. Right, there's a is a biracial black man, um, super smart, fucking smooth. Like, he seems young, not like an old decrepit guy. He's doing the fucking opening lyrics to "Lose Yourself" after being introduced by Eminem the other night. It's fucking wild. It's right. super He's wild. Like three years older than Kamala Harris. Fucking nuts, right? Yeah, it's, it's just fucking, <laughs> it's it's like, fucking strange, right? That like we're at that moment, right? He comes along, right? Everybody's an old, stiff, white guy for the most part. You had Bill Clinton you played the sax. You were like, all right, like maybe Damn, some of them could have a little, you know. He's a philanderer. <laughs> Can't stop getting BJs. We're like, we understand this nigga. We understand. Yeah. Yeah. We got it. We got it. We understand who he <laughs> is, right? And so then you get Obama, and I think people saw, oh, okay, this is what the future can look like. White people were like, the racial hierarchy, and they just could not fucking deal with it, right? They flipped out. So it's like, it's like, um, it's like going through a mental, like like going to therapy, right? You have this moment. Trump Trump is the moment, right? Your your mental breakdown. You didn't need a Barack Obama or a Kamala Harris. You needed a Joe Biden because you got to work through some get to get to normalcy, right? And this presidency is normal. And they're like, that's why Undertaker when he interviewed Trump said, "Oh, you made politics fun. It's not supposed to be fun. Yeah. It's supposed to be fucking boring." Right about that. when he said that, I was like. It's not a game, nigga. Like, what are you talking it's about? Lives. Like, politics is not a, is not exactly a game. I mean, you you're good, you're rich, so not like again, certain people it's not going to affect. But like, yeah, see, this is fun. You're a nice, go, good, go, fun loving guy. I'm like, don't do that, dude. I right, don't. But then again, he he worked for fucking Vince McMahon for thirty years, and again, they're the same person. Yeah, so it's Vince like, Trump oh, it's like my fucking, you know, the damn the same age. Yeah. Same person. They like it's. They're very similar. Yeah, they will so destroy I think anybody. Man is an actual talk. billionaire. <laughs> yes, yes, that's true. Um, and and so I I honestly think that Trump showing up was the was the damage. Right, it's like the 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 fucking the mental break. And then you needed a Joe Biden to kind of pull yourself through therapy up to something just normal. You don't you don't go from the tragedy to to greatness, right? And, and all healed. That's not what it is. You got to go through some shit and you got to get yourself back to even back to baseline, right? You, you had a positive and now you're back to a baseline. Now we're through the baseline. It's time to get back to where we were, right? Back to a forward looking trajectory. We got a taste of it with Obama. And we were like, Hey, we kind of like this. Like this dude's got rappers at the, the white house. They, they're being, you know, like, Black people are being included in shit. White people are not being excluded, right? I know conservatives think so because not everyone is white, but Obama wasn't like, fuck white people, only black people around. That's not what happened at all. So people saw that. Black people got mad because he wasn't doing it. Right. What the fuck, man? He's like, oh, am I supposed to do it? People hate him now. Right. It's fucking stupid, right? So this idea of like, we got a taste of what the future could look like. And now we're at the cusp of seeing to getting back there. That doesn't mean it's perfect. That doesn't mean everything is going to be wonderful, whatever. That You got to let go of that thought process. What you have to look at is where do you see the country going? Do you want the country to go in the direction where Trump is, which is hateful, di- tons of division? And I, I know people are like, division started with Obama. For existing? Uh, okay, guys. Uh, like, no, right. He didn't do that. He was just the president. Like the yeah. Tea Party did that shit. Right. And the MAGA movement is just like the Tea Party on fucking steroids. That's all it is. <laughs> like, that's L- all it less, is. Sorry. Less concerned about policy, more all about personality. Right? The Tea Party was like, yeah. we really care about taxes. Like, we're not consistent about it. But, like, that's our thing that we're saying. And so 
I, I honestly think that's where it is. Now, what happens if Kamala wins and where do we go? I look, I think they need to, I think she needs to legalize marijuana. And I think they need to just drop ship that shit all over the United States, frankly. Just give it to Eric. Gummies for everybody. Just calm the fuck like, down. I would do, if I was Biden, I would do that shit next week, Monday. Fuck it. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> like we legalize bam that'd give her a fucking boost no you like, know what no you mm-hmm. don't you, you know what you don't do it because you got a bunch of states that have it on the ballot and that's driving turnout oh so, okay yeah no nah, you, you gotta let that shit rock but that being said <laughs> the second i got in if i'm kamala harris the second i get in and i if i have the votes in congress roe is getting codified and weed's getting done boom you're fucking welcome. <laughs> like, and then people are so like, can they codify Roe with with Congress? Just Congress? Yes. Yeah, you can. So what the fuck was this? so what was with this whole what's with the so why the fuck was the um, Supreme Court able to do that shit? So so how it works is because Roe was always Roe was always quote unquote the law of the land based on a Supreme Court decision, not not Ruling. based. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So not oh, okay. They, not based on an actual law. They thought it was fine. They tried. There's a, you know, I know a lot of people, especially leftists, who don't really read shit. Um, it, there's just all vibes. They often say they <laughs> never, they never tried to codify Roe. That's actually simply not true. But they never had the vote. Well, why didn't Biden do it or Obama do it when he had a supermajority? He had a supermajority for 72 days. What the fuck are you talking about? It wasn't for fucking four years uh, or even two years. Right. So. That's why they've already been yeah, talking. Yeah, Roe wasn't, no, wasn't at front of mind at that point, right? That right. But, but if you look at what happened in that 72 days, they got more done in that 72 days than like almost any administration in like decades. Like they were hauling ass trying to get so many things done. And it was still difficult, right? Because you had a bunch of like blue dog Democrats who were kind of like conservative, right? right? So all of that being said, if Harris has the votes and they're talking – Harris and Chuck Schumer, who's uh, head of the Democrats in the Senate, and um, they and all the leadership are basically saying we're going to do, we're willing to do a carve out for knocking down the filibuster to get Roe done. So they're not even on some like we need sixty vote shit. They just need a basic majority. All right, do it, make it happen. Yo, look, if women are going to come out for you and you <laughs> make it happen and you fix that shit, do look Tim Walls in do an them, interview. Do them a solid. <laughs> <laughs> Doing a fucking solid, right? Tim Walls in that Ezra Klein right. interview, and I and I charge people to go back and listen to it because it's very, very good. He talks about something that he did um, as governor. He was like, people hold their political power when they get elected and say, "Well, I'm going to do this thing." Uh, so I'm going to hold this. Yeah. I'm going to gain my political power, and I'm a hold for this thing. He was like, "Fuck that! You get in and you get shit done immediately." That's how you win people over for re-election. You don't hold, you don't keep your powder dry and six months down the road and everybody's fucking mad at you. Then you try to do it. Fuck that. You go fast. You get it done. You knock that shit out and you get goodwill and then people are happy and then you hit them with another one. And you hit them with another one until you hit a roadblock that you can't get shit done. That's the way to govern. So I expect that's how they're going to govern. I think you're going to see a lot of major shit come out of that administration in that first couple of months. And that's what you need. So then people go, she's not going to do shit. And she'd be like, and what? What happened? What happened? Joe want child support next? Huh? Say something else. <laughs> yeah. That's how you govern. So look, I think she's, I think she's smart as shit. I think people mistake her being kind of like a giggly uh, fun aunt uh, for being stupid. She's not stupid. She's not stupid. Because she's fucking, she's waxing the floor with that nigga <laughs> every day. And he's losing his mind. <laughs> he can't, he can't, he can't fucking stand it. So good. But vote, 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 vote. Take it serious. Please, please. Uh, And then I can't wait to come back in two weeks and just be like, see, you're welcome. Good. Now, now turn off for two years and then get really mad. Um, But no, in all seriousness, like really take it seriously, man. And get, if you got people who are like, "Ah, I'm on the fence, you know, you send this podcast. They don't have to believe us. Find some information. Give them the information. Oh, she did this. Here's the information. No, she didn't. Just sit down and be like, all right, what are the things you don't like about Kamala Harris? Let's look this shit up. Don't let people get away with just saying dumb shit and just letting the shit rock. Nah, sit down, nigga. <laughs> like, sit down. Let's yeah. talk about it. Because when you look at the details, they don't jive with what narratives are. They almost never do. So, 
And shit is complex, right? You're going to have to take some time to like read up on it. Read up on it on your own so that you can say that shit to them. And then you can point to like, here's the information. All right. That is it for us. I thought this was going to be a fast episode. Turns out I'm a liar. So it is what it is. Um, <laughs> we will be back. We'll be back next week uh, for Sing Sing. Uh, you can rent this, I think, in like some places and on the internet. Um, but check it out. Uh, again, it's uh, with Coleman Domingo. We know it's going to be good. I'm very interested to watch this. Uh, and we'll see you guys next time. Take it easy. You're watching the Black on Black Cinema YouTube channel. Make sure you check out our full reviews of black movies, past and present. And every other week we do a preview episode where we talk about a random topic that affects the black community.